All right, now we've cooked for 15 minutes. You can see the difference. The pickles are actually really, really um, more, you know, brown in color. And um, that is done. That's a, a done pickle jar. And then all you need to do is get it out of the water. And, you know, I'm using some really normal, everyday things you might have in your house. But there, if you really like to make pickles, you can um, create your own pickle system with uh, some, you know, good tongs, a nice canning um, pot, and, you know, maybe make them in smaller batches. I, you know, it's up to you. So, what we need to do then is get this jar out of the water and let it cool. And you're not going to want to disturb this for like 24 hours. Um, because what's going to happen is this is going to pop and it's going to go down because it's still in the process of going through the expansion and contraction process. But, you know, there you can see kitties. You can see that this is, you know, your end product. Um, all the seasonings have risen to the top, which is what happens when you don't have a lot of pickles in the jar. But you can see it just doing its thing. So those are pickles for uh, easy, quick canning. And I'm going to scroll over to the fridge here and show you where my uncooked jar is. You can see that they're not as uh, brown in color. So try both. See which ones you like best. You know, and you know what? Remove your um, seeds. You know, maybe you just like one part of the cucumber. Maybe you like small, tiny cucumbers. You can do a whole cucumber if you can find smaller ones. And, you know, once you have the jars, each one of these jars costs like a dollar to make pickles. Think of the money you'll save. And you'll wonder why you never made pickles before. You can pickle mushrooms, peppers, green beans, um, any kind of vegetable, basically. So, try pickling cauliflower and carrots and see what you come up with. So, I'd love to hear what you come up with. Thanks. Hope you enjoy it.